hi guys this is the game we'll be making in this video it's uh, the idea isn't mine originally i found it on play store the game's called highway heat so yeah let's get started for the sake of achieving this effect we'll start from blender i'll delete the camera and the light and it would be the first time in history when the default cube won't be getting deleted so I went into the edit mode and gave it a flat look in the x axis and increased the uh, scale in the z axis. Now let's select the faces, the corner faces and press the P key uh, to change its apparent to selection. I'll do this uh, for all the top and bottom and left and right side now if you'll see these faces will be a sep will be separate objects one issue that we have is that the origin of all these faces are also in center so let's fix that i'll just pull this page i'll show you the hotkey i found so it's shift plus control plus alt plus c to change the origin so we'll use that and select origin to geometry this will bring the face to the center of our uh, it will bring the origin to the center of our geometry now repeat the step for all the faces we separated now let's save our file and move to unity now inside unity we'll drag the blender model that we just made I'll just align it so we can see it in our game view now. Now for all the different sites that we made, we'll add a trail renderer inside it as a child object. Now if I happen to move the object, you'll see that trail is always looking at our camera. So we'll go to our trail and change its uh, alignment from view to uh, transform Z. Now you'll have to rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis. So I'll just move it to show you the output. Now for the Y axis of the trail, we'll scale it to 2 and it should snap perfectly. Now you guys can repeat the same step for all the sides. Now I just changed the color for the each side of our trail. To give it more unique look I also added a, a car model if you need this uh, specific car model I'll drop a link in description to download it and I aligned this car a bit behind the our behind our road block or our cube that we made on blender I also added a capsule collider to cover the uh, cover the boundaries of the car it doesn't have to be perfect just the bottom side should be perfect now let's add a new script to our block i named it player controller now inside our script i gave reference to our car and i also made a flute that will control our road speed in the x axis now we will add transform.translate in the update method with the speed x for the x axis. I gave 3 as the speed for now. Now let's make another serialized field for our camera and we'll make our camera move with the uh, with our road. Now let's do main camera.transform.position equals to new vector 3. For the x axis I did transform.position.x plus I added some offset to it that's how it should look for now now let's add movement for our road in y axis and for that we'll clamp the y axis first so we'll use mathf.clamp so it doesn't get out of the screen our road shouldn't get out of the screen we will be clamping tr uh, transform.position.y so that's what we'll be adding in the first parameter and for the minimum and ma maximum I'll make two more two more serialized fields which will be of type float 
now we will add the vertical axis in a transform dot translate this will control the movement of a road in the y axis using up and down key i made speed y to control the speed of our y axis in the, the movement of a y axis we'll multiply it with the vertical axis and uh, then we'll multiply this value with time dot delta time now this is the output we'll get when i press my up and down arrow now we'll fix the car's position just a bit behind the road the same way we did for the main camera but for the offset of the main camera we gave it a added the offset but this time instead we'll sub, uh, subtract the offset so it's behind the road now as i made the offset value a serialized field i can easily change it in the inspector and then you can use the same value when you exit the play mode now i made a box collider to somewhat similar dimensions of that of the cube that we made in blender now we will drag this drag this into our asset folder and make a prefab of it and we'll delete it from the hierarchy now just give the reference to the prefab we just made so i'll make a serialized field for the prefab now we will be instantiating this prefab in the update method and it will be at the transform dot position and for the rotation we'll use cotinian dot identity i ended up using cotinian dot euler because i had to give 90 degree rotation in the x axis for my prefab i gave rigid body to our car and i tweaked some values in a player controller like the speed x or speed and speed y and this is the output we have till now in the inspector you will see we have these lot of prefabs that are getting instantiated so we'll solve this thing so i made a small script that i'll add to a prefab if you'll see in the script in the update method we are method we are destroying the game object after some duration okay so it looks like they are destroying they are getting destroyed too quickly so i'll go back to the code and i'll change the value to 1 and let's see the output now so everything's working smoothly i think that's great while you guys enjoy the output i want to address a great achievement by the youtube community to be more specific by jim browning so he's a youtuber and he spied on scammers and not only that they were also busted and they are behind the bars it was shocking to me how close it was happening to my place and not only that it also got 69k likes so yeah that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you